Uh, this is a, a big this is a big question. I'm excited about this question because I think uh, I, I touched on a sponsorship question and a partnership question, basically uh, talking about what it takes to uh, what are you looking for in a sponsorship, what it takes to to be an athlete. And there's so much more within that that I, I wasn't able to give all the way. But I think that this is a great question about being in the zone and knowing when you're in the best shape and knowing when you're ready leading up to a big competition. We have so many competitions throughout the year. You have to practice. You have time trials. Um, but ultimately, athletes, uh, a lot of times, they train for that big thing. Uh, so uh, maybe if you're a football player, you're playing every game, but you're looking for the playoffs. You're looking for... Uh, you're 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 looking forward to the Super Bowl. If you're you're an NBA player, you're looking towards the actual playoffs, and you're looking forward to the NBA championships. As a Paralympic athlete, you're looking for the Paralympic Games. You're looking for the Para Pan American Games, the World Championships. Those are your big things, but also nationals, making sure you make the team. It's a lot that goes into that, mentally, physically. Uh, spiritually, you have to prepare yourself. You have to prepare your mind. And then there's also where I was talking about the sponsorships and the partnerships that comes into play because that is the funding that fuels you to be the best that you can be. Now, uh, when you're in the zone, man, that's deep because what we're talking about is have you done everything that you know is possible to be your best? Um, Sometimes when there's more funding that comes along, that can help. But if you don't have that funding, you have to steward over what you got and you have to go hard. You have to be in the zone every single day that you're practicing, those days when you're tired, those days when you don't feel like doing it, those days when you're like, oh, why am I doing this? Those days where it's scary. So um, when you take that into consideration, mentally prepared yourself, physically prepared yourself, tried to do everything not to get injured. That's how you know you're in the zone and you're ready to go. I know in 2016, I was locked and loaded and 